What is going on my friends and family and welcome back to another full day of eating where I'm gonna take you through every single meal I eat throughout the entire day as somebody who's gaining muscle as a vegan bodybuilder. Show you a bunch of creative, interesting, different types of things. I guarantee you're gonna try some things in here that you are going to fall in love with. Meals are good. Now, today's full day eating is sponsored and brought to you by The Underwear Expert, which is a really cool service, actually. You go online and you go through the different styles and designs and things, and it kind of captures your customized idea of what kind of underwear you like and it's a monthly subscription service. So it's gonna send you new underwear each month based off your preferences as well as the size that you chose and then it'll adjust the size for each brand to make sure that it always fits you. And then when it comes, it comes in a black box, you open it up, it says the underwear expert, inside is your underwear. I got a box of three, so I have three different underwear in there and it allowed me to try different underwear providers so I can see kind of which underwear companies I like the best. Now this service works perfectly for me because as you guys know, I just got into jogging and I didn't really think about my underwear type until I started jogging for a couple of miles over the course of a couple of weeks and you start getting that chafing down there and then you start thinking about what underwear you're wearing between your legs which is awesome because these underwear are much higher quality than the underwear that I was wearing before and so it has stopped me from chafing so that is like my number one favorite thing that has happened from this uh, this sponsor right here anyways it's an awesome service super easy to use the website if you guys are interested you can use my discount code and the link that I will put in the first line below this video in the description as you can see, my hair is super wet because I just got out of the shower after that jog. I was sweating hard. Now we're gonna make a bit of a smoothie and then we are off to the gym. So let's get in that smoothie. All right, I just got back from my workout and I am sweaty spaghetti. So I'm just gonna make my traditional little morning smoothie that I make before I go to the gym. But after I get back from my jog, I'm gonna drink it while I'm in the shower. So I've got myself a frozen banana, maybe a little bit more, and then probably about a cup, a little bit more of frozen blueberries, strawberries, and blackberries. I'm gonna throw one scoop of the acai blueberry flavor, which is so good when you mix it with blueberries in a smoothie, of the Vivo Protein. Always appreciate when you guys support with this. You can use my code Brian10 to get a discount, but it helps support the channel. And then I am going to top it all off with some cold, very cold soy milk. And that's it, we're gonna blend this, and then at the end we're gonna throw in a bunch of these hemp hearts just to get our omegas in and some extra protein. So let us blend. Wow guys, I think that's the prettiest smoothie I've ever made in my entire life. That's a good color for once. This actually looks pretty good. I, I feel like I could sell this at a restaurant. Back of the house, just finished taking another shower. Yes, I know, I do take two showers a day. The second one is much shorter than the first one. I've been drinking my water. I'm on three quarters of a gallon so far after this workout. And I'm gonna make a meal that is extremely simple to make. This is something, I wanna start trying to use meals that other people have made, just to like expand my horizons. And this is one that my brother LP, who's new to being vegan, has just been doing crazy amounts of. So his recipe is ultra simple. It is literally a can of black beans, you put barbecue sauce in them, mix them up, and then you have yourself kind of like a little sloppy joe, you throw it on a bun. I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm also gonna throw it in the frying pan so that the sauce can caramelize a bit as it cooks. And just because I'm extra, I'm gonna throw in the onions, mushrooms, and garlic before I throw those beans in the frying pan and let those get nice and browned up first, then toss it all up in that barbecue sauce. And this is what it's gonna look like. That's so good, it reminds me exactly of a sloppy joe, just with more stuff. All right, I'm gonna keep eating. I got three of these bad boys, and I'll show you guys what we get into next. All right, bear with me. This is the first time I'm trying this recipe, but I know it's gonna be super good. All 
All right, we got some extra time, and so while that cooks, we are going to make something completely different for later. We're gonna be making some pico de gallo, and I was inspired because my really good friend, Eric the Electric, made this the other day at a house we're staying at, and so I'm gonna try it myself. So what we've got is three medium small tomatoes. We've got a half of an onion. We have a bunch of cilantro here. We do have lime juice from one of these little lime juice things. I know, it should be a real lime. Don't kill me in the comments. And then finally, just a little bit of jalapeno. That's the one thing I'm doing different than Eric's recipe. I just wanna add a little bit of the juice and some jalapenos in there. Okay, so if you've never made pico before, it's really just the simplest salsa you could ever make. We're just going to chop everything into fine bits and mix it in a bowl. This is going to definitely be by far my favorite thing that we eat today because I love cilantro. I wanna hear it, what do you guys think about cilantro? You hate it or you love it? I do it every time I use it. I gotta see it in the comments. And then as finely as we can grind, as finely as we can chop the onions here. Okay, and then just a very tiny amount of jalapeno. I don't wanna over jalapeno it. I'm gonna add a little bit of the juice as well. Then we're just gonna hit it with a bunch of lime juice. And the more the merrier for me, but if you don't like lime juice, I'm assuming you would wanna do a little bit less. The lime juice is what's going to cook down all the acids, like the onion being too much of a bite, the lime is gonna make that go away. Finally, I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of some salt, and I would say go kinda light, and then increase it as you taste it, after you've tasted it, that way you don't over salt it, because you can never take salt out. All right, so I've gotta dice these other two tomatoes and add those in, but this is done. It's just gonna go in the refrigerator so that the lime can kind of break down those acids for later. All right, pico de guy in the fridge, and now we come back to our soup, and... This is what we're looking like. There we go. And now it's finally finished cooking. So I'm just going to plate this into my bowl here. I definitely needed to add more salt, so make sure you check. Oh, are you just waiting here, ma'am, for your food? Is that why you followed me out? Okay, so in an effort to not make this look like one similarly grayish colored food, I threw some slices of carrots around it, right? Because I know how to make the Instagram picture look a little bit better. Let me get a first taste test right here. Whoa, dogs. Chill, chill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, first off, a few things. I thought this would be a little bit more soupy. It's definitely like very much so like crumbly and dry, which is totally fine. I thought it'd be more of a soup, so I was gonna dip some toast in it but it's not, so there's no toast. Second thing is, I can definitely taste like that wine that cooked in there. I can taste like the depth, the flavor from the mushrooms, caramelizing, things like that. Uh, but the peas have like a bit of a different flavor than I thought they would have. I didn't think they would have really any flavor at all. I thought they would just kind of be like texture, kind of like my broccoli or my potato soup, which are phenomenal. This has a little bit of a different taste. The peas, I think I have to get used to them. I still really like it. Definitely gonna eat this and the leftovers, but it's just something different to my taste buds. Personally, I would prefer doing this with broccoli soup or potato soup the exact same way, but just replace the peas with potatoes or broccoli. On another note, I have two boxes from the P.O. box, so I'm gonna unbox those real quick right now. If you guys ever wanna send anything to P.O. box, it is always in the description below the video, and I try to open them in my full day of eatings. All right, so this is a book. It says, Key to Yourself, Opening the Door to a Joyful Life from Within. Looks like a, a little bit of a short book from Dr. Bloodworth. Blood work. Got myself a little letter here. Hey Brian, I know it's been a while, but I really wanted to check in and send you this book. My dad let me borrow a copy of this book and I got so much value out of it and decided to buy a few copies and send them to people I thought could get some value out of it too. Hope all is well with you, Sammy and Jacoby. <laughs> I'm still making music and pursuing a life I dream of. I had to take a step back from music for a while and really evaluate my mind state. That's cool. In an age where everything is digital, we send emails and texts and stuff. This is really cool when you get like some real paper mail, right? And I think it's also really cool that he sent me a book that he really liked, because I have a couple books that I think, you know, everybody should read and I recommend them to all my friends. Uh, and I'm definitely gonna read this, so I appreciate that. All right, and then we have this second box here. No idea what this is. Got a package in a box. <laughs> oh no, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> is this? Congratulations on being the new owner of this burrito blanket. Brian and Sammy, wrap yourself in this and what do you get? A vegan burrito. Enjoy, Alan. <laughs>
I can eat a burrito while wearing a burrito. I can go to Chipotle and order a burrito in my burrito blanket, son. Double rice, double beans, please. Can't eat my food. You can't eat my food, little dude. I'm gonna wrap you in a burrito. Look at this little guy, guys. My sister's visiting, she brought a couple puppies down. When Sammy gets home from work, I'm gonna show her this. She's gonna freak out. Okay, so first off, it smells amazing. You can see all the juices down there. I love the smell of lime and cilantro together. Whoops. There we go. Yes, perfect. Here we go. Taste testing this. Pico de gallo. Mamma mia. Muchos gracias. Oh my gosh, that is so good, man. I mean, full disclaimer, of course, I love salsa, so it's probably not that hard to impress me. But for my first time doing pico de gallo, this is pretty damn good. Let's say a little bit more salt. I think I had the right amount of lime juice and maybe slightly smaller chunks of tomato. Look how much cilantro there is. You're either loving it with me or you're cringing there while you're watching me eat this cilantro. Mmm. So I would eat that with chips and salsa like I'm doing right now. But also, uh, when I was at the house with Eric, what I was doing is I was making a big bowl of just plain rice and plain beans, so like white rice and pinto beans, and then just dumping this pico de gallo on top of it. Amazing. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys this first attempt at it and also to show you the, the super simple recipe because it is very easy. So yeah, definitely try it out guys. I wanna see if you guys do better than I did. Mwah! Okay, I'm gonna eat a bunch of this and then we'll get to dinner. All right, for dinner we are going to have potatoes and tempeh, but we're gonna do it in a different way than usual. First, we're gonna make some breading. So this is gonna be very simple. One teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of some chili powder, like a quarter teaspoon of some black pepper, a little tiny bit of some salt, a tablespoon or two of some mustard, about a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, and finally one third cup or so of soy milk. And then we're just gonna whisk it up until it's all in one consistency. And this is what we are going to toss our little tempeh ribs into, and I'll show you what those look like in a second. All right, we're just gonna take a full block of tempeh, and we are gonna cut it into little lengthwise pieces like this. So we're just gonna drop these little tenders into the little bath here. We're gonna take this and then we're gonna toss that in some panko breadcrumbs. So we're gonna do that with every single one of the pieces of tempeh and we're gonna place this in the air fryer. Next up, also going in the air fryer, we got potatoes. This is the way I like to cut them. So you go down one way so you have two chunks. Then, without separating them, you cut the same thing the other way. Now you have four of these kind of wedges, which are also great. You can just cook these as wedges. Turn this way, and it's a really easy way to get nice little chunks really fast. So we have a buttload. We have a bunch of them. So these are going to go into a big mixing bowl. Now you can use whatever seasoning you want, but I'm always a chili powder, garlic powder, and onion powder kind of guy. If you need specifics, I would say about a teaspoon of each would be good. But if you like something specifically, you can always go hard on it. And then we're gonna do about two tablespoons of olive oil. You can do less or more, depending on if you want it more crispy or more healthy. Make sure your hands are clean, you haven't wiped your butt recently, and we'll give it a little hand mix here. So now this is also gonna go into the air fryer and lucky for us, we have two. What? Now because these potatoes are super thick, they do take a long time to cook. Generally, if I'm doing air frying, I am willing to spend like 30 minutes cooking and it usually means I'm doing something else, so I'm not really thinking about the fact that it's taking so long to cook. Everything's going in the air fryer at 400 degrees. Literally perfect, super crunchy, amazing. These little tempeh sticks, my sister was saying they look like fish sticks. They are amazing. We just tried them and you dip them in a little bit of some ranch or I, I bet you if you did like a little ketchup mixed with mayonnaise, did a little special sauce, that'd be fire. And then of course, this is all that just fit on the plate. I actually have more that I'm gonna eat, but there's just no way to plate this many potatoes in a way that's super aesthetic. But yes, 
One of my big tips for bulking is choose a carb source and fall in love with it. And for me, potatoes are one of my biggest carb sources. So I'm gonna eat both of these and this will be my final dinner. Sammy's back. What's up guys? Already wearing the tortilla blanket. I am. As I predicted. A lot of you guys said this looks like poo when I put it on my story. Yeah. It's not it poo. It kinda does. It's not poo. It kinda does look like poo, but it's, it's a tortilla. Realistic tortilla action, okay? My sisters are gonna think this is hilarious. Quite I can't wait to show them. <laughs> drinking my emergency. Yeah, Sammy thinks she's getting sick, so she's drinking emergency. Mm -hmm. Oh God. I don't know how the lighting looks. I can't see the back of the camera, so we'll, we'll hope that it looks all right. Anyways, my beautiful friends and family, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. On that full day of eating, we made some interesting things today. Had a lot of firsts, some very successful, some slightly successful. I think that bread of tempeh is something I'm gonna be making a lot more often. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Team Beyond the Week, CT Lift heavy or die myron motherfucker. Mm. Team me out, CT Lift heavy.